The grocery store, the office, the gym, theme parks, basically if we're going someplace, we are taking along the masks. Face coverings have slowed the spread of the virus and there is a lot of hope and confidence that a vaccine will be even more effective. So even if you or someone you know are one of the first to get the vaccine, it's not time to throw away the mask just yet. ClearGirlando.com's Brianna Voles is here now to explain why, Bree. Well, Candace, with a promising rollout schedule, it may take until next spring or early summer for vaccines to be widely available to the general public. So experts are urging people to keep their mouths and noses covered, even if they've received the shot for the foreseeable future. And there's a couple reasons for that. To start, the first coronavirus vaccines require two shots. Pfizer's second dose comes three weeks after the first and Moderna's comes after four weeks. Also, the effects of the vaccinations generally aren't immediate. People are expected to get some level of protection within a couple weeks after the first shot, but full protection may not happen until a couple weeks after the second shot. Now, according to a vaccine expert, right now it's not known whether the Pfizer vaccine and Moderna vaccine protect people from infection entirely or just from symptoms. So that means someone might still be able to get infected and then pass the virus on to someone else, although it would likely be at a much lower rate. And even once vaccine supplies start ramping up, getting hundreds of millions of shots into people's arms is expected to take months. Now, we also want to note that vaccine testing is just starting in children who won't be able to get shots until study data indicates they're safe and effective for them as well. Assuming there are no problems meeting supply demand, it's estimated that the country could reach herd immunity as early as May based on the effectiveness of Pfizer and Moderna. So for more updates on the vaccine distribution, we have it all for you. You can look for it at clickorlando.com vaccine.